Personal budgeting. What on earth can sound prettier? Hello beautiful people! I'm so excited to start this new channel just for you, for you to benefit. I hope so very much that you benefit from this information. I hope so many people find my tips useful and implement it to their lives and make your financial life better, easier, more successful and effective. Welcome! Okay, today is a very important topic personal budgeting. We will discuss the main three types of personal budgeting and find out which one suits you best. Yeah, I know it can seem overwhelming. It can seem like a lot to take because there is so many different websites and information about this personal budgeting and you can think like, oh, I won't get it, but it's actually really easy and there is different types of it from the super duper easy to more advanced ones. Uh, we'll go through them today, so stay tuned. Okay, the first one is the easiest. The easiest type of budgeting you can implement right like immediately no like immediately but with the next paycheck i'll say you get your paycheck salary cash whatever <laughs> your money your money arrives and you divide it you divide it into just two categories 70 and 30 percent so 70 percent is your spending is you you just spend on whatever you need to spend this month and 30% goes straight to investment and or charity as if you wish so it's like uh, the main point is that you need to divide it right away so you get it you divide it and you forget about 30% <laughs> and you just live with the 70% and you will see immediately how your life will change. So uh, you'll you'll have you'll build this um, security for yourself. The, you will build the, those money that they will cushion you. You you will have those um, additional uh, uh, money that you can use later. So you would feel much much better even with this really simple but effective method of budgeting so let's move to the next one the next one the next one is the envelope type of budgeting envelope says for itself <laughs> it's an envelope oh i don't have envelopes with me it's an envelope you can see it here on the picture so you take several envelopes <laughs> Uh, like first of all first of all think about areas of spending that are important to you so you can have can I can I look at it the list is pretty long uh, food transportation utilities leisure mortgage other debts car health expenses uh, that's kind of okay <laughs> an, an okay list or minimum but if you don't have any of them for example um, if you don't have other debts like car debt you're a lucky one so don't include it by any means or if you want for example to divide food into groceries and eating out I have that also you can do that if it's important for you to divide them into separate categories but don't overdo it <laughs> don't make the list too long because otherwise you it will be pretty challenging to stick to it so you've assigned the categories to special envelopes so when you get your paycheck you just take it in cash from whatever source you received it and um, divide into these cash categories it's that simple you just if you need groceries you take the grocery envelope open it spend it 
the next time you go to groceries you open it again spend it the next time you don't have it you don't spend so think wise about groceries groceries are important and um, if you for example have this leisure or eating out envelope you can open it and find out that you've got only five dollars left or euros or whatever currency you have and you think like aha uh -huh, maybe i shouldn't go out today or maybe you can just buy a coffee to yourself or it's more healthier without a treat or maybe you can invite your friend over to your house and cook at home maybe that's even better option so it's so straightforward and easy the envelope method you distribute your money into envelopes when you need this category of spending you take the envelope you take cash from this envelope you spend it you don't have cash you don't spend it that's it that's that easy what is this uh, who is this method for it is it can be used as the previous method also for quite a newbie in budgeting world so if you're just starting out you can use it it's not that complicated if you have a bit more time to spend in, in the separating the categories you can do it it is also very 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 beneficial for those who overspend <laughs> with their uh, credit cards and uh, other cards you just don't have cards and it's so nice to have this crispy money you just you just take a look at them and these are money money you can feel it you have it you, they're here in the envelopes that's quite a fulfilling feeling yeah so who is this method not for this is not for those who want to take a full control over their money because you can't really distribute between the envelopes yeah and this method it it is possible but not recommended <laughs> so if the the cash in the envelope is over it's over just go over it and um, if you want to be more flexible maybe you don't know exactly how much you will spend well, it will take several months to calibrate it definitely but anyways uh, maybe you should transfer your attention to another budgeting method and also if you are a um, number geek if you like those numbers like calculating and doing all the math and like uh, switching between accounts and like everything then you should go to the next method and the next method is a zero budgeting method the method of all methods uh, it's a budgeting method yeah so a zero budgeting method is my favorite it is my favorite because you can make most of your money with this kind of method you assign every dollar euro penny pound any currency a job so no one is jobless here you should think about distributing your money even before you get your income so you can do it peacefully and think thoroughly about all the spheres you want to put your money in so um, and of course you should assign it as well the first you assign <laughs> the first <laughs> in this method you pay yourself uh, it's like a golden rule <laughs> you need to pay yourself first it can include investment uh, for me even for any kind of budget it works for any kind of assign 10% for investment oops it's the next day 
Yesterday my memory card ran out, then my computer crashed and I just had to wait for my husband. He returned and everything just started working magically again. Okay, what was that we were talking about? There was the third method of budgeting, it was zero-based budgeting. And in this method, you should assign, if you remember, every dollar a job. So the dollar or euro or yen, pound, whatever you have, um, you should assign them beforehand. And the most um, significant difference between this type of budgeting and the others is that you reassess your budgeting for every budgeting period. So you uh, make changes all the time. You think about the most effective use of your money every single time you budget. So if you're budgeting for a month, so every single month you reassign the proportions of how much money will go to which category and exactly this allows you to benefit the most in this budgeting method so who is this method for this method is for those who want to take a full control over their finances personal finances those who can adjust on the fly, those who can devote quite substantial amount of time, at least in the beginning for it, and also for those who want to be most effective with their money. And who is it not for? It is, this method is not for total newbies, for those who don't like to calculate, to deal with numbers, and also for those who tend to overspend their credit cards or other cards. So if you're a total newbie, you should better go to the previous two methods. Really, really. <laughs> it is better to simple maybe not that super duper effective but still it will be more effective to you because you will stick to it you will integrate it into your everyday life you will get used to using budgeting in your life and that's much more important than going into all the details and everything and and then just quit it in a month just start slow <laughs> then get confident with budgeting and then you can uh, rule the world i also have a written article on this if you're better with words reading words also check out my blog posts on envelope budgeting and zero based budgeting in more depth and also I'll make videos on those topics. So stay tuned. Bye.